a second dog pack video has just hit the YouTube space. Looks like Mr. Beast is actually a very stereotypical superhero villain. I've only watched some of his videos and there was always something off about them. It always seemed like it had little to no personality. If jokes were ever thrown, they never truly landed. The players and the hosts barely have personalities either. TV game shows have more personality than those videos. Now, one of the huge things that happened in this video is the mention of Yes Men. And it seems like Jimmy favored people who Jimmy these Jimmy. As long as he Jimmy these Jimmy, Jimmy will Jimmy you with money. <laughs> so it seems like Jake didn't Jimmy Jimmy. One of the fucked up things that I heard about in this video was how Jake was treated during a filming set. You see, he was fired because of uh, trying to increase the pay of his friend uh, who was of a melanated skin and was a family man. His friend was paid lower than him and they wanted to make that right. So they confronted HR I think or Jimmy or who knows, I don't remember. But it seems like <laughs> they got fired for even trying. They got a severance pay for it and there they go. After Jake was terminated, he was brought on for one last video. One Russian sleep experiment video that he had no idea what was going to happen. And sure, game shows do, do have that idea sometimes, but here's the catch. He had to stay in a solitary confinement space for 30 days. It was going to be 100 days, but it seems like they only needed 30 days. Now the problem with this is that the facilities were really bad. Trash. Not even cavemen would have lasted long. And they, those guys were tough. They were tough. Now one of the most fucked up things here was that the lights never came off. You know what that is? That's a war crime, Hitler! Wow. <laughs> Can I say that? And after all this torture of staying in a confined space for a long time, uh, Jimmy asked Jake to say this to the camera. He said, uh, Jimmy said, uh, can you say to the camera how thankful you are that now you can pay back your student loans? You know how hard it was to do a take of that? They pretend to make it genuine. The last nail in the coffin was when Jimmy asked Jake to run a marathon on the treadmill. Now, he mentions there, he had no shoes. Could you imagine running a marathon with no shoes? And being uh, running a marathon, not being a runner either. Like what? Even marathoners or runners have issues running through a marathon. 22.6 miles or whatever. I don't know. I don't know how long. Jake wanted to be a good sport and so he did it. And after running it, running the gauntlet, he was done. He was done through the torture. He wanted out. His friends comforted him, running towards him to bring him some comfort. And Jimmy was there. Jimmy walked in with suitcases to pay him to not sue him. <laughs> He walked up like a villain, like a like a hero villain, as I mentioned a while ago. He was straight up a villain, as mentioned by Jake. They brought it on people I liked, and Jimmy. <laughs> then everybody was around me making sure I was good, making sure I was okay. But Jimmy had his like, he was sitting in the chair turned around like an evil villain, swear to God. Everyone was looking at me and he was like Lex Luthor over there. He turns around, he stands up. Oh, he, did the, he does the exact same thing when he's pretending to have a human connection. You know when you're watching a video and he's um, he's like, oh, stop, you're going to make me cry. And he like touches his eye or whatever as if he's crying. He's not, he's just... I didn't have to pretend to do that shit. She says, uh, you know, as, as if rehearsed by his lawyers. Uh... Yeah, you know, your mental health is the most important thing. You know, just want to make sure you're okay. And the last thing we want you to do is... I can almost hear the word Sue come out of his mouth. The S, he just, he just stopped right before it got out. There are obviously other mentions in the video that you, it's best that if they explain it, but we'll go in and say a couple things. So Jake mentions uh, fake re faking reactions, just inciting or citing more evidences of, of uh, faking reactions for the videos to make it better. Mom, I'm about to call you about the meteor thing. 
You have no idea? Be surprised. And then I hit send and then they go, call your mom now. <laughs> and I call my mom and I tell her, and oh, she should have got the Oscar. Oh my God, on the fly. She goes, what? I'm on vacation. Jimmy is using uh, his money as a shield to hide from his misdemeanors, misdeeds, misconducts, whatever, of being a bad host, like not accommodating to the needs of players and not cleaning up for himself with that boat. It's still there. Also, it seems like they have a guy named Delaware is, uh, this guy seems to be a registered sex offender and like he was there since the beginning for a while. I think they got rid of him. I'm not sure, but he was there. So they had a registered sex offender in his videos and they knew, they knew it and they're trying to expedite it or not sorry, expedite it. They're trying to get rid of it, the record somehow the mr beast team was actually trying to expunge delaware's record uh off the registry and that's what actually like sparked this person to start recording this was mentioned in jake's extended video of the interview he mentions that uh he had a buddy in greenville uh, mentioned to him that there were investigators private investigators on the beast pocket allegedly as he was as he states who are, who might be after him, might be, maybe, allegedly. I called my buddy, let's say his name is Mark. I called him because he lives there and he's connected with the law enforcement and the, the lawyers and the legal stuff, you know? He goes, hey man, just a heads up. Uh, I know a lot of the uh, law enforcement in Greenville because I used to live over there. And apparently a lot of them are working right now for one guy, company, entity. A lot of them are on the same dime. Jake seems to be a very sweet guy, trying to use his humor and comedy as a way to cope through the pain. And because of that, at the end of the video, he mentions that he will not commit suicide and that he's he wants to live. So, you know, justice for Jake. I hope he I hope he's fine. I hope he stays fine. And that's all. See you in the next time. Hi, this is a video in case I'm dead. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jake Weddle. It's a little silly that I'm doing this, but just in case, I didn't kill myself. If I am dead, that's wild, but uh, yeah, I didn't do that. Jake Weddle. This is a video of me saying I did not kill myself. Not kill myself. Uh, I, I would love to live. Hey! <laughs> how, are you, how are you supposed to make these? The key to these is to not see everything. <laughs> no, you know when you gotta do your I didn't kill myself note. Ah! I didn't kill myself. And uh, if you're reading this, oh, I, I guess I'm dead.